person. I'm going to do something stupid. It's locked down. I'm going to cut my bangs. They're already sectioned because um, I lost this eyebrow whilst I was trying to do it. I don't know if it's great. It looks more like a curve than a triangle, like Brad told me to do. I just, when it's down, I look like Snape and I don't want it anymore. I look insane. I look insane right now. Um, I'm gonna need you all to deal with it. Oh, Jesus. Because, yeah, now we've got a straight triangle and whatever's happening over here. Look, I've got the guide, I've got Brad Mondo's spirit with me. Okay. Let's cut bangs. Oh, that's pretty straight, that <laughs> looks okay. <laughs> Kind of a little bit stunning, actually. Um, I, I want to go just a tad shorter, actually. I want to go crazy. Let's just... Ooh. What am I doing? What am I doing, mate? Don't fucking know anymore. Oh. Oh, don't add her. Don't add her. Don't add hair that is meant to be up. Fuck. And... <gasps> yes, okay, cool, great. Oh my god, it's kind of cute. Oh my god, okay, it's kind of turning out cute. Hot, 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 sexy, amazing. So it looked good, but it didn't look different. <laughs> so now it's even more crazy. We've pulled everything back and we're going for a kind of shag mullet thing. And we're just gonna trust and believe, you know? Um, but look at that dry section. That's so much nicer. God, you know what, let's, let's point cut. Like we saw that girl on Brad Mondo's video do. So that when this is terrible, it's not terrible, terrible. Oh my god. That's a length, isn't it? Right, well then, let's keep going. Then we go, whoop. Brad's, Brad Mondo's tutorial is great. Um, but obviously doing it on a mannequin and doing shit to your own hair is very different. Um, we're going somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where it is. I booked the tickets and I got on the flight, but I didn't read the destination. <sighs> um, there is hair all over my phone, so I'm just gonna blow on you for a second. I'm very sorry about this. <laughs> So far, from this angle, it looks shit. <laughs> I don't know how that's happened, but it has. see what happens. Oh. So we've ended up here. I don't really know what this is. I don't know if I want to take it up higher. 
how that feels. It still feels like I haven't done much, but I mean, this does a little differently. I like it. I might take the bangs shorter at some point. I did it. I cut my bangs for the first time. This was stupid. <laughs> Not that different. I'm so sorry for wasting so much of your time. <laughs> it's the next day. And I was thinking about cutting them more, but I, I look fucking hot. <sighs> you know why? Like, I know it's not the same cut. I know it's not, but I feel very Winona Ryder in Stranger Things. And I love it. I love it so much. Emulate that strong diva. You're welcome. So my top tips are um, watch a Brad Mondo video, watch someone else do it to themselves and like know the bits that they're doing wrong because you watch Brad Mondo do it um, and then just fucking forget all of that and do your own fucking shit. <laughs> just go for it. Live your fucking life. Um, stop panicking because you can always just cut it all off and do a Jesse J. Like, just live your stunning life, basically. Woo! We're back in the studio. So, obviously it's Wednesday. I've been back for a few days. Um, but Monday I was so busy, obviously I forgot to film in school, and then yesterday was even busier, and I didn't film at all. Um, because yesterday I had um, not only school and had a full timetable, but I also had a workshop that I was running for my theatre company online, and by the time I finished I was literally like, I'm ready for bed. And, you know, it just, it just didn't really happen. But uh, yeah, I'm really pleased to be back. It's been a really good week so far, so much to do. Um, especially in preparation for the year 11s and 13s, um, but also just all the general stuff. It is strange with the whole mask wearing and wearing masks sort of all the time when we're together um, or with students and it's being reviewed at Easter. It's a really tricky one because I do feel sorry for them, but I understand the safety side of it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just so nice to be back. Nice to see people's faces and everything. Um, yeah. Right, get on with the day. So this is how I'm feeling today. Yeah, I've been awake since 10 a.m. because I had an alarm set then because sleep pattern. Although I'm very aware I need to start messing it up soon, which is fun. Um, yeah, I'm not feeling good today. I've got a really bad thought, well, bad-ish. And yeah, just sort of feel like I'm coming down with a cold, which I really hope I'm not because I just don't want to be ill, <laughs> point blank period. Also, I know when I get a sore throat, it escalates very quickly, very badly, and I end up feeling like death. And between the few gigs I've got coming up and the interview next week, I just can't afford to be ill at the minute. I will be livid if after a month of waiting, I end up too well enough to cancel this interview. So hopefully that won't happen. But, yeah. So, it's 11 o'clock. I'm going to chill here for a bit. Have some food in a bit. I mean, yeah. I haven't got really much to prepare for drag gig this afternoon, since it's the same as yesterday. There's a few little things I want to tweak, just because it didn't run super smooth yesterday. But essentially, it's all good to go, because I worked last night, I won't work tonight. And, yeah. Also, my teeth look really white like this. So I'm liking this lighting. Um, yeah, fun. Also, not that you can see, but I did my brows yesterday as well, just to help do covering of them, because the less hair there is, the less to cover, so, yeah. Fun. And I must remember not to decrease as high, because that messed it up. Mm. Also, I think construction workers are back. I'm too lazy to check, because the window's all the way over there. And I've been hearing noises all morning. I originally assumed it was the bin men, 
but if it had really taken their time, all the construction workers back, which I'm not happy about. All I know is I'm going to finish this, flop back into my pillow, watch some future armor for another hour or so, then get up and do stuff. Oh, also one thing that I will probably film later is I have ordered a Grey's box, which should be fun. Um, purely got it because I had a really good discount code. So I thought, sell it. Why not? It's really cheap. Let's see what all the hype is about because I know a lot of people do get them. So uh, let's try it. And then that's getting delivered today, I think. I got an email yesterday saying it was in the post. I'm not sure how fast the delivery is, but since it's food, I can't imagine it being something they want in transit for weeks on end. So I'd assume today or tomorrow. But when it arrives, I will be filming a little reaction of that, seeing what I've got. So look forward to that. But for now, pillow, future armour, potentially a nap. Shouldn't have a nap. Probably going to have a nap. Fuck. Hello. Oh yeah, I really can't... Smile. <laughs> and I am definitely swollen. Cool. Um, hello. I didn't film this morning because I didn't sleep very well last night. And... Um, I don't know if it was anxiety or what have you, but you will notice that I can't talk properly. <laughs> That's because I can't feel anything in this general area. My nose feels so weird. Oh my god. Um, I'm sorry to be eating again on camera, but um, it's tricky. I'm, I'm trying to eat something cold because I'm not allowed hot anything anymore. Uh, not for the next couple of days. So I bought iced coffee ready to go in the fridge. Uh, it's not super noticeable. But my tooth is gone. There you go. Um, that's what I've been doing today. Fuck, my face looks weird. Um, yeah. I bought a pity face mask, which I'll be doing later. I'm finding it really hard to eat. Um, I'm waiting for, like, pain to really kick in. It just feels really fucking weird. Not happy, but... It's done. I don't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, I'm probably not going to eat a ton today, actually, just because it's really fucking hard. I'm not allowed to exercise for the next two days, either. I'm, like, actually forbidden. Which is interesting. So I'm glad I booked two days off work by accident. <laughs> I can't wait for my face to actually function again. <laughs> I, I ended up having to have so much more... Um, anesthetic, that's the word. In my face. <laughs> because... There were bits where it started to hurt, but, I mean, I did just have a pair of pliers effectively shoved into my face, and he was not gentle about it. It only took half an hour to get it out, which was surprising given how fucked up my tooth was. Um, like, roots aren't supposed to grow that way. Uh, but, I only took one break. Because it was rough, like, I was pulling back so that he could actually get the tension that he needed to be able to literally yank out this fucked up tooth. Um, but 
I was sweating so much because I was really straining. Like, my head was coming off the chair repeatedly. And just being like, uh... That's the worst thing that I've ever gone through. <laughs> By far. Like, even when my chest ripped up, uh, post-top surgery, that was... It really sucked. It hurt like a bitch, but it wasn't anything compared to this, which is kind of ludicrous. So yeah, now I get to hope that the swelling and the pain goes down over the next couple of days, and if it doesn't, then that means I have an infection and I've got to go back. Hooray! Fun stuff. Excuse my foot, just sort of there, but somebody had an accident. Didn't you? He was all dirty again. Still my friend, no. I've put a cat bed there so she can get in and get warm. However, she's decided to sort of sit under my feet. She hates having baths. And I also hate having baths because I'm covered in my own blood. Because she doesn't like baths. But we give them to her as little as possible. And just pray for the best. Don't be stinky, girl. We do. We also don't like the fact that your shampoo smells like talcum powder. Buddy's cat shampoo. Make you smell clean. I'm getting. She says, nope, not going where you want me to. Evil human. Evil. Joys of being a pet owner of a pet with long hair. Can I help you? Did you not know I was sat here? Oh. Every time I give her a bath, though, at least I'm reminded that she's not fat. She does fluffy. She is. Unlike me, I'm not fluffy, I'm just fat. Yeah. Drag day two of three this week, and yeah. So, just starting to get ready for this. I have put my. Oh, I've had a shower. Uh, figured out what I'm going to wear, but I still need to dig it out. Oh, and I'm just trying to get the energy to actually do stuff because I spent far too long in bed watching Futurama. You're not switched on. You're still not switched on. There we go. Um, yeah. So I spent far too long in bed watching Futurama. Got to about two o'clock and I realized, crap, I've done anything. I need to do stuff, i.e. food and shower. Had some food, had far too much food, and now I just want a nap, so I have made a mistake there. And yeah. <laughs> um, also, I haven't shaved today. Don't know how well you can see, because I have just turned the camera around, so I'm looking at the camera, not the screen, so I'm assuming the framing's okay. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to do a makeup, listen to the podcast, because it's Wednesday, so that's one of the podcast days. Keep thinking it's Thursday for some reason. Get in drag and try not to fall asleep because I'm desperate for a nap. But I know if I was to go lay down, I would end up laying in bed for half an hour, not actually sleep, and then just get up and feel exactly the same as I do now. So, save myself half an hour of doing nothing. Right, so I will see you later. Not sure if I'm going to film again before the gig because I do have a habit of trying to, but then running late and not filming. So, probably see you about 10 o'clock. Ish the gigs half seven till half eight, it'll probably run over to about nine. Then film stuff for friends, yeah. See you about half nine, ten o'clock, probably. And then that's my day in a nutshell. Okay, I'm back with you guys now. Um I'm up, I'm awake. Uh my new earrings turned up, so I'm gonna play with those in a bit. But I've got a couple of hours till I need to think about heading to my cousins um, because she is at the dentist today and her daughter's home alone um, and she's 15 so fully capable but we're just gonna make sure um, so yeah I'm having lunch I'm just gonna sit and pick up blueberries because I had chocolate for breakfast don't think I'm being good I'm just trying to balance out the scales here <laughs> um, I cannot stop looking at myself. I'm so beautiful. Oh my god. Anyway. Yeah, that's me. I'm gonna play some Kingdom Hearts for a bit. 
because I'm on the Big Hero 6 world and I love it. And I've done everything I needed to do in the Pirates of the Caribbean world, which means that I don't have to go back there. Which is very, very nice. Um, cool. Okay, so I've just sat and been doing emails and I'm very confused. Because a lot of people decided to email me at the same time, which was very annoying, so I've had to go through all of them to make sure I've got them all set up. I'm not going to show you my screen just because GDPR, I think, one of them. Um, but yeah, so currently look at my inbox, there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 emails with a lot of messages in each thread, some going up to 12 to 13. So yeah, that's been fun to go through all of them. Um, and of all those emails, one, two, three, four, five, six, six email threads were started as of yesterday. <laughs> or like last were been sent by as of yesterday. So <sighs> lots to go through and I'm 90% sure I'm forgetting an email somewhere. I've gone through everything three times, but I can't find it. I'm sure there was, I'm sure I had an email about a student union or something. The only one I can find from Studham, so I don't know if I just misread that at some point when I was half asleep and too lazy to reply to it, but yeah. If there was a student union who wanted to message, who wanted to book me, sorry, that's not happening. <laughs> um, was it Instagram? I don't think I've got any messages on Instagram I need to apply. Well, there are, but not about bookings. I know. This is a part of it I don't like. I love emails, but I not want to get loads at once, all asking for different things, but all similar things. Because pretty much all of these are from the same, like, women... I never knew about this until a few weeks ago, but apparently there's a thing called the Women's Institute, which is, like, a big national thing, and, like, each community has their own one, and a lot of these want to book me, but because they've all got very similar names, i.e. City, WI... It's very confusing when they all want the same thing and I'm trying to remember the dates and what they do and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't help as well when someone starts three different threads for the same one just about starting for stuff in advance. Like, love their preparedness. It saves me panicking on the day, being like, oh my god, what's going on? Have I messed up? But yeah. Don't like this. I like admin, but not when I get a hundred things at once and I'm not sure which is where or what. <laughs> this is why I normally try and do this at the same time, like as and when I get the emails, but it's just been very backlogged the past couple of days without me realizing. Not fun. But yeah, so it's about six o'clock. I think I've done everything. I know I've still got a few Instagram messages, but I'm just going to blitz all that today or tomorrow because I'm probably going to get a few more tonight. Um, but yeah. Mm. The thing is, I'm not even that booked. <laughs> Including yesterday and today, and the potential ones I've got, I've got maybe 10 gigs between now and July. So I'm really not that booked. But it's just all at once. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, I reckon I'm probably going to get a few more from the... Uh, uh, this is one thing that's really amazed me from all this, is because the initial gig, when they reached out to me, I thought, oh, it's just going to be a one-off, end of, whatever, it'll be fun. But just from that one gig I've done, they've shared me with the rest of the Women's Institute, which, I once again, I knew nothing about. I honestly thought they were just, like, some one-off, small little thing, local community thing, and that end of. But apparently it's a national thing, and half the country want me now. <laughs> Um, so it's good that people have been saying such good things for me because it is this and it's all money at the end of the day, which is very important in a pandemic, especially. But yeah, just one thing that sort of shows always do your best for even small things. Because if I phoned it in on a day, like I know a lot of my friends would have, thinking it was a small thing, they definitely would not have gotten booked again. And I'm very happy that I'm getting booked as much as I am. And I low-key think some of my friends are getting a bit bitter about it because I feel like I can mention it a lot. But fight me. I'm making up for lost time because I haven't done any digital stuff for the past year. So sorry that I'm finally doing them and I'm doing a lot of them and I'm actually getting paid and I'm just doing tip spots. So sue me. <laughs> I really hope none of my friends are watching these because if they do, I will definitely be losing friends for saying that. <laughs> oh well, future problem I might be moving to China, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I've got an hour. I'm going to finish a few little 
digital stuff I need to fix, one of which was I forgot that on the green screen things that get flipped, so some of the text on one of the things was backwards, so I need to fix that. And then just a few other photos of things I want to whack in, but yeah. I'm going to do that for another half an hour, then lashes and lips, get my costume on, and yeah. That's about it for now. See you about 10 ish, as I've already said once today. But I'm going to say again because I can. And I've got nothing else to do. I'm also going a bit insane today. Don't know why. Just am. It's also I don't like wig caps because it's pulling my face that little bit and now I can't. But yeah. Also, blue is definitely my colour, I've decided. Well, cool colours are definitely a lot better for me than warm colours. So I'm not entirely sure what the difference is, I just know blue's a cool colour and I think that's better for me than red is. So, there you go. Right, see you later. Well, so it's about 20 past 5, I have finished quote unquote my makeup, so I'm going to do lips and lashes as per usual. But I've somehow managed to get ready super early. Did not intend to, but yeah. I've just somehow gotten into the habit of doing my face an hour and a half unintentionally, so that is good. But yeah, so I started getting ready about four, was rushing, thought I was going to be late. Evidently I wasn't. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to tidy up all of this. Probably going to leave a few brushes out just in case I decide to do touches, touch-ups in the next couple of hours. Um, since I've got two hours to kill. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to sit on my laptop, got some emails to send. Might do some more editing stuff for what I want to do today. But yeah. Also, I'm living for this contour. Yes, I'm very happy with this. <laughs> um, eyes, I want to say I'm happy with, but... You can't really see it in the camera as much, but close up you can see, sort of see that like my eyebrows are not glued down properly. Definitely trying to relearn that skill, but... It's a process. Doesn't help as well how short and choppy my eyebrows are at the minute as well. But yeah, as a whole, not mad at today's face at all. Even if I'm very aware the contouring is not even, but we'll not go into that today. We shall not. So yeah, so I will see you in some point today. <laughs> yeah, that's it for now. I've got to deal with this. Pray for me. Excuse my messy bedroom in the background and the fact that I look like I'm bald But my hair's in a, a bun Again, that was aggressive um, It's like six o'clock um, And also, Dylan I have many fairy lights everywhere it Really does help with the mood I have some on here as well um, And they're my favourite ones because they're like they create a mood and the only issue is is that because I have one of the three meter curtain situations behind my bed um, and it does make me feel a bit sick when the lights pulsate like they are now are they pulsating? yes they are but when that's all that I've got on I had a headache the other day and I couldn't be asked to turn the lights off so I was just laid there waiting for them to turn off because um, they go off at 11 minutes past 11 at night um, yeah it made me feel sick and I know that Dylan you've mentioned that you get migraines occasionally um, I feel like you've said you've had a few during the past 65 days um, and yeah, that's something to be careful of, um, if you get the old headache, they can make you vomit. Fun times. Um, I don't actually know what I'm here to say. I'm working, still. Um, my contract got extended, I don't know if I mentioned that again, it's been, it was supposed to be like five days. Uh, with the possibility of like a few extras and so far I've done like 20 which is fun I'm, I'm doing the learning um, yeah 
I'm gonna finish up a few things and then actually go cook some tea because I just had crackers for tea last night and then I woke up because they gave me heartburn and I threw them up and then went back to sleep because I woke up with the worst heartburn I fell asleep so early yesterday as well um I think I put this in the I think I put my last video in is it being like half ten no I, I was asleep at half past ten I didn't mean to I was just like I'm dead this is it this is the end and then I woke up today and today has been like the day from all hell um so it started off with um a phone call from my mum she left her handbag on the platform at the train station on the way to work um she got back to the train station it was gone so we've been tracking that down all day we've someone handed it in to lost property however lost property won't answer the phone um which is really useful um then whilst i was waiting for mum to come home kizzy pulled a lot of shelves over onto herself so i thought we were going to the vets but then it turned out she was fine she was just being an idiot um she currently sleep down there then just to you know spice up my morning a little bit more kizzy shat all over herself don't have children um especially long-haired children because if they can shit on themselves they will so somebody had to go in the bath and have their bum trimmed wasn't me wasn't holly wasn't mom it was kizzy uh and all this was uh before half past nine so it's been a fairly stressful day um it's because he had to have a bath i think i filmed it when she was all soggy um but she's she decided that it was mum that put her in the bath even though it was definitely me um so she's been my friend she's been sat under my desk all, uh, all morning all afternoon trying to lick my feet because she's a little weirdo she's now in her um cat bed pretending to be dead are you actually dead might actually be dead. Oh no, she moved. It's good. Um, yeah, that's been my day. I'm gonna go. Bye. So I've just done my second home test because we have to do it Wednesday evening, Sunday evening. So I did that 30 minutes ago. So now it's time to find the results. So it needs to be uh, on the letter C. Negative. Good news. So negative result. So I can throw that away now and do another test like that on Sunday. I still need to edit the me cutting my bangs video. Um, hopefully I'll get it done in time for it to be on this video. Whoops. Um, but. I've just spent the past four hours trying to collect a group of at least ten people to go and watch the Rocky Horror Picture Show in Plymouth um, in September because I am obsessed with the Rocky Horror Picture Show. I have loved it since I was about ten. Um, my dream role, I don't have like dream roles for acting because a lot of them are super like men or women and there's not really a lot of space for this mess um but frankenfurter is the perfect role for me i've been obsessed with it i know all the songs i practice them constantly a week does not go by where i sing at least i'm going home or sweet transvestite or um i can make you a man um so yeah, very excited for that. So I've been trying to get 10 people so we can get a group booking. Um, I think we're at eight people, but I'm going to email the theatre company um, and say we've got between 10 and 12. Um, how would group booking work? How much would it cost? When would we need to pay things by? Um, and yeah, so I'm going to send that email in a little bit. Probably get a reply tomorrow or the day after. Or maybe not for a week, because obviously things are going on at the moment. Um, but it's very exciting. I'm so excited. I will do anything to get to that show, to be honest. Um, 
so yeah if you live near Plymouth and you want to go see the Rocky Horror Picture Show DM me on my Instagram it's linked in the comments because um, I need to get 10 people together I need four more maybe I can't remember um, the majority of the group will be dressing up as a, as a warning um, and if anyone else comes as Frank and Fur in my group then I'd be okay with that and if they're cute might be more than okay with that. <laughs> you got a single. Anyway, that's my update. I'm going to try and edit that video in time for Anna so that it can go into this. I'm just going to cut some shit out of it. So I'm just because it's like 20 minutes long and I don't want. But you'll know if it's in there or not because you'll have already watched it. So probably, unless it's like a bonus feature at the end. But it did technically happen yesterday, so I assume it would be at the beginning. Oh, I'm fucking gorgeous. I did a video earlier imitating Winona Ryder in Stranger Things when she's like, um, that's funny, so. <laughs> Things are funny if I tell you that they're funny. Anyway, I'm gonna go because I've got to fit like a 10 minute video of me cutting my hair into this and I've talked for three minutes. Stevie's back. There we go. So I have finished my gigs for this evening. I say gigs is all I've done more than one. Um, yeah, I finished my gig for the evening. Um, still need to film my stuff for my friend. But I'm just aware it's about 20 past nine, so I need to send stuff to Anna now. But yeah, that is the end of my drag career for a few days. Um, I'm a lot less ill than I was this morning, which is good, but I'm still not 100%. So tomorrow is going to be a very, well, I say chill day. I've got to get in drag to film some stuff. Oh, I might do it next week, actually. I think tomorrow might be in... Oh, no, I do need to film. I'm going to get in drag tomorrow to film. I probably will. We'll, to be fair, I need to do a food shop, so we'll see. But yes, um, my lash is slowly coming off. I'm just going to take that off because I need to put it back on properly anyway. That's one thing I hate about performing in this outfit. Oh, look at, look at it go! Woo! <laughs> oh, I made myself laugh too easily. Be free! It's like a little butterfly wing. Uh, of course, the corner would stick in properly. There we go. No, that's not sticky anymore. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to stick that lash back on, film the bit for my friend with my little assistant here. <laughs> Do you know when you've got a performance that's so stupid you can't help but laugh during it? Because like the entire number, I'm supposed to be doing a very straight face, but um, when I was filming yesterday, there's so many takes of where I can see me, where I knew, like, as I was filming, I have to take in because I can feel myself trying not to smile. And that's very much this number. It's so stupid, but so camp, and I love it. <laughs> like, from a technical standpoint, not the best number I've done. There's some changes I wish I could do with a mix that I just can't because I don't have the material. But in terms of content, I absolutely, like, oh, I love this number. <laughs> Basically, spoiler alert, um, this is Bambi, and this is Bambi's um, main appearance of it. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I went to university to do this. So worth the 60 grand in debt to do. <sighs> is it too late to ask for a refund? <laughs> Please help.